Good morning, 早安 Today we will be going to Xinzhu. This will also be the final installment of my Taiwan travel vlog series. In Xinzhu, we will be spending a night at a popular glamping site. We have booked this glamping experience from Kluk Taiwan. We opted for the one night four meals option, which includes an afternoon tea, dinner, supper, breakfast for the next morning. It costs us twelve thousand six hundred and sixty Taiwan dollars for two person, which includes transport transfer from Xinzhu High Speed Train Station. There are many options to choose from. There's the two man tent, the four person tent, the four person wooden cabin, as well as the floating cabin. Just find one to suit your preference and budget. I'll put the link in the description box below for you to check it out. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We will start our journey from Taipei Tsechan, taking the Taiwan High Speed Rail from Taipei to Xinzhu. The trip will take around 35 minutes, costing from 290 Taiwan dollars per adult. Toilet review. Eh, actually, it's the urinal cubicle lah. It's very clean but small though. Approved. No smell. Hmm. I have friends asking me, why do you show the toilet in your videos ah? Well, I really think that the clean toilet is very important part of any journey. You'll never know when you need to use it, ma. What do you think? Please tell me in the comment box below, okay? After just 35 minutes, we arrived in Xinzhu Station. The station looks massive and bright. After picking us up by our driver, we were told that we will be stopping by some places of interest around Qingquan Scenic Area before reaching our campsite. We were traveling along the mountainous region in Xinzhu. There are many glamping and camping sites around this area. First stop, Qingquan Yihao Diao Qiao. Qingquan Bulo is also the home of the Kaiya Zhu Yuan Zhu Ming. Along this trail, we can visit the San Mao Meng Wu. San Mao was a famous Taiwanese writer during the 1970s and 1980s. Come soak your feet in the natural hot spring. Visit the former residence of Zhang Xueliang, a prominent military general in the China-Taiwan history, who was imprisoned here between 1946 to 1957. Oh, 
好好。他会有点微甜微甜的。这里卖的是原住民料理。Unfortunately, not all the stores are open today. 我们终于到了！哇、wow, ，Look at the mist！ 外上喜翁 campsite is situated 1,180 meters above sea level. It has an amazing view of the mountains. 上喜翁 is actually the name of the place. Its original meaning is above the cloud and the mist. It is common to be able to see the Yun Hai over the mountains in the early morning. Depending on the weather conditions, hopefully we get to see ya. Cafe 啊，等等一下，你可以去决定，因为本来如果加床的话，会给你放在这里。那如果呃你要变四人站的话，在这边或这边都可以。啊，你们两位我就帮你排一个双人站就在这里。那浴室就在这旁边，所以都很近，就会比较简单。啊，如果你你也可以住这里，四人站的话住这里或上面，可以就稍微有点隔开。啊，那浴室就可以干嘛都可能就要共用一下。嗯，好 ，OK， 那这是住宿的环境。那另外一个就是我们这边有很多景点，你们可以顺着呃这个露营车这条路子上去看一看，像这边有个五指山拍照点，哦，看五指山，看夕阳，看新竹的夜景，都是很漂亮的。哦，那这两天我看了一下，新西兰很漂亮，你们也可以在这边看看星星，或者走到上面有观景台，那边有船，你们可以躺在那里看夕阳，会非常漂亮。Suddenly, this it feels so cooling. 很像云顶，云顶的感觉。或者 Cameron， 看，看我。这个是园区的服务中心。Service center of the campsite. So pretty. There's a koi pond here. Li Yu Chi. Wow. I have nothing to give you. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Mail, mail. Okay, now we are entering our four man tentage. So this is the inside. There is a sofa. Okay, there's a little pantry there with water. There's two beds, two double beds, and a couch. There's a fan and also an air purifier here, and also a mini table. So this is their four-man tentage. Ah, 谢谢 This is a lovely afternoon tea basket, and some Aboriginal food shared by our lovely neighbors. After which we had a craft making session using the flowers and leaves found in the campsite.
再挑一次，是不是？<笑>好丰富哦。还有饭，还有啊面。OK， 好，谢谢。The Sui Mi Tao Mi Jiu, which I bought in the morning. We have two birthday groups that evening, and the staff are so nice to bring their specially made cocktails for the birthday girls and boy. After dinner, we went stargazing at the viewing platform above the campsite. I wish I had a tripod to better capture the beautiful stars. We will serve some snacks and wine to end the amazing evening. Good morning, 早安。昨晚睡得还好。哦，今天没有云海看。哎，早餐有点少，吃不饱。<笑> My last activity here was archery lesson taught by their super friendly staff. Whoever has the highest score will have a special surprise. Overall, I love the glamping experience here. The staffs are super friendly and accommodating. I would highly recommend coming here. Final stop, lunch at Xiangya Kao Ya. This is a must-eat place in Xinzhou, and they are well known for their roasted duck. They have a 4.8 stars. Out of a whopping 9,800 reviews in Google reviews, we ordered the two-person set meal, which includes half a roasted duck, four side dishes, plus two drinks. It is really value for money, and the dishes are amazing, especially the roasted duck. Highly recommended to try when you are Xinzhou. If you have enjoyed my video so far, please remember to click the like and subscribe button, and share this video to your friends. This will definitely help my channel a lot, as I'm trying to achieve my first 1,000 subscriber goals for my new channel. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed my Taiwan travel vlog series. See you in the next video of my traveling journey. Please click on the notification button to get notified of my latest video. Thank you.